Queensland's line fishery is worth many millions of dollars every year and fishermen know it's vitally important to look after the fish stocks and the marine environment that supports them. For example, fish stocks must be protected by maximising the survival of released fish, such as undersized fish, too small to keep. It's also important to maximise the value of fish retained, for example, by ensuring survival of fish kept for sale alive and by extending the edible shelf life of other fish kept as whole dead fish or fillets. And that's just what reef fishermen aim to do. Like North Queensland boat owner Terry Must and Doryman Dave Hammond, two experienced professional operators. When planning a trip, make sure you have a zoning map of the area. And check that all your safety gear is on board. More about safety later. One of the most popular target fish for both commercial and recreational reef anglers is the coral trout. Commercial fishermen generally keep trout alive for sale from seawater tanks in specialist restaurants, both here in Australia and overseas. The techniques used to keep fish alive in tanks also will help ensure the survival of undersized fish released back into the ocean. A major problem with fish being pulled up from deep water is barrow trauma. Expansion of air inside their swim bladder as water pressure decreases on their way to the surface. If released with a swollen swim bladder, it can be impossible for fish to swim back to the bottom. Floating on the surface, they'll be eaten by other fish, like sharks, trevally and mackerel, or by dolphins or seabirds. Barotrauma can also reduce the normally high rates of survival in live fish holding tanks. A needle is used to de-air the fish and use a needle, do not use the point of a hook. Commercial fishermen generally de-air the fish by pushing the needle through the anus while pressing lightly against the fish's stomach. Doing this underwater is one way to see just how much air is being released. Experience will teach you how much air to release. Take too much air out of the fish and it will have trouble rising off the bottom. The needles are hollow hypodermic needles used by vets for giving animal injections and are available from veterinary suppliers, specialist chandleries or some tackle shops. Another de-airing or venting method popular with recreational anglers is side venting, pushing the needle into the swim bladder through the side of the fish. To find the right spot, count back to roughly the fourth dorsal spine on top of the fish, then go down to a point level with the top of the pectoral fin or side fin. That's the spot. Barotrauma treatments certainly work. Researchers with Queensland's Department of Primary Industries and Fisheries have tested short-term survival by holding released fish for three days in a 15 metre deep sock made of netting material. They've assessed longer term survival by tagging, release and recapture. All fish species benefited from treatment, though some much more than others, as Dr Ian Brown explains. Here of course we have uh, a number of juvenile uh, red emperor and the, the interesting thing we found with those was that they, uh, they seemed to be very, very resilient to the effects of, of barotrauma and they didn't really respond at all, at all to, uh, to, to any of the treatment and in fact in, the, in our in these short-term survival experiments, we found that the survival rate was about 98%. Another species, fishermen report, rarely suffers from barotrauma is the red throat emperor, but some species are very susceptible. At the other end of, at the other extreme, we, we found that um, uh, saddletail snapper, which used to be known as largemouth nanny guy, uh, seemed to be the most susceptible of, of all of the species, or, or the half a dozen species that we looked at and um, you know, they, untreated, we had quite low survival rates, you know, only 55 odd percent. Um, they did respond to, to treatment, probably the best of, of all of the species that we did look at. Other optional release techniques involve what is called shot lining, using a barbless hook attached to a heavy sinker to take the fish back down deep. And net release, with a reversed lift net, which allows the fish to swim away when back at the right depth.
Always handle fish as quickly and cleanly as possible and with wet hands on wet surfaces. One of the keys to quick handling for professional fishermen is the de-hooker, a tool that flicks the fish off the hook with minimum handling. This is called the de-hooker. We use it to remove the fish from the hook so as not to touch the fish and damage the fish in any way. And it also prevents the fisher from getting cuts or spikes from the fish. The fish has a protective coating and so if you handle the fish, you tend to take that coating off, which is going to allow bacteria into the fish. So it's best not to handle the fish at all. 